Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Connor Woodard, and this is the Rookies Weekly Update for the second Friday of May. Let's just get started. More layoffs. Unity lets go of 600 people. Hitmarker has released some pretty bleak stats about open positions, with junior and entry positions still being the lowest by far. Junior positions actually decreasing slightly from last quarter, and the demand for senior positions is up 7.5% from last quarter. I don't think this information comes as a surprise to any junior or entry level artist, but one thing that does happen a little too often is these artists blame themselves. I talk to 3D artists all the time that ask me, what's wrong with them? What's wrong with their real? What's wrong with what they're doing? And of course, you want to take accountability for the things that you can control. But global economic turmoil is not in that category. Yes, do everything that you can to make your art better. And yes, do everything that you can to expand your network, to form meaningful relationships with people trying to get into the industry or people that are already in the industry. And yes, strive to improve through contests, feedback, mentorship, community. But don't look in the mirror and ask yourself, what's wrong with me? From my experience, this is the hardest time it's been to get into the industry in the past 15 years. The standards are really high, so let's try to hit them. But don't take it personally if it's not working out right now. Just do everything that you can to close the gap between your work and the work that inspires you. And participate in the Rookie Awards while there's still time. When you submit your entry, be sure to check off the career opportunities that are relevant to your submission. So you can win opportunities like the Ghost VFX internship. We'll talk about more jobs in a second, but first, Google is partnering with Adobe and with Unity in order to launch Geospatial Creator. It's a new tool that allows you to visualize, design, and publish world-anchored immersive content. This is so badass. It's like 3D modeling and 3D art in inside of Google Maps. I can see so many experiences, games, galleries. It's gonna be such a cool thing. If you're a 3D artist and this is the type of stuff you're into, I would highly recommend checking out what optimization requirements are necessary to create really awesome immersive experiences. On the other side of real time, PlayStation released a gameplay trailer for Chrono Odyssey. The environment, the lighting, everything in this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. The gameplay looks really fun. If RPGs are your thing, I would give this one a watch. How about a free animation rig? David Puigbert and Sed Vasquez are releasing their pilot rig for Maya on Gumroad completely for free. It's a pretty cool League of Legends Overwatch style character. I can see a lot of awesome animations coming out of this. If material art is more your jam, Morian Onizer released his material light rig on Gumroad completely for free, as well as detailed instructions on how you might set it up yourself. Unreal Engine 5.2 has officially been released. I think we covered most of the feature highlights already from when we covered GDC, but it doesn't make it any less crazy how insanely powerful this tool is. I cannot wait to download this thing. Frame by Frame Animation posted Pixar's 22 rules of storytelling and they're excellent. Even if you're not a director or story writer, these are just really great tips on how to frame everything. For example, number eight, let go even if it's not perfect. Move on, do better next time. That's great advice for all of us. Chaos, the people that make V-Ray have posted this awesome heart from Cypro GmbH that I want to give a little bit of warning about before I show you because some might consider consider it a bit medically graphic. Cypro has a Turbo Squid page with the most medically accurate models on Earth. Hitmarkers posted some new summer internships in the games industry. That's No Moon has posted a bunch of open positions. And a special shout out to Kelly Barshig over at That's No Moon for supporting the Rookie Awards by selecting a winner of the game design category. The winner will receive a one-on-one -on -one demo reel review with That's No Moon. Atomic Cartoons has a bunch of openings, including an animation intern. Scanline VFX is looking for for a hard surface modeler. Leica still has many open positions, including CG asset artists, asset supervisor, VFX lighting and modeling TDs, a VFX scan and asset artists. If you're looking at some of those position requirements and you don't quite hit the experience levels required, check out this tweet from HFox77 that Hitmarker shared. Look at this right here apply anyway. The industry knows this can't last and hiring managers know it's not fair. I will hire below a title level if the person is a good culture fit or is willing to learn. Just apply, I promise. Basically, you have nothing to lose by putting in your application, so give it a shot. The featured rookie profile of the week belongs to Joshua Moy for this incredible Sir Ian McKellen likeness sculpt. Really stunning work, Joshua. The next featured artist is Jonathan Gregory Bick of this Elden Ring style 3D scene that 80 level shared. The next featured artist is Stephen Dupoy for this amazing water study done in Houdini, which is a close-up of the complex molecular interactions. Such a neat simulation. Games are 
artist's LinkedIn page posted the work from Shangu Wang, which also includes a breakdown of how this is modeled, unwrapped, and textured. Fantastically vintage little prop here. If you do me a favor, just tag me in any job openings, interesting news, or amazing 3D art. Also, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's commented or reached out to me in my DMs. I work really hard on these, and the fact that you find them useful, it really means the world to me. So thank you so much, and I hope you have an amazing weekend.